All right, look at page page 12. Okay, page 12. All right. Read the question. My students in school so naughty, you know, because every day I'm screaming at them, read the question, read the question, read the question. So in their year-end concert, they made an entire video of me screaming, read the question. Yeah. But read the question. If my most important advice to you, open your eyes big, big, read the question carefully. Okay? All right. Raja Anam menunjukkan perwakilan PAY, atom hydrogen dan atom oxygen. Lukiskan susunan elektron bagi molekul air. Just now we already did, right? Okay, dan terangkan pembentukannya. Six marks. Okay, this one, listen. No need to copy. No need to copy, listen. When you when they post up the video of this, the markings, because there's so many questions right here, right? The marking scheme for all of this will be there. So you don't need to copy. I just want to show you how to write. Remember just now I told you how to write? This one is ionic or covalent. Covalent. So covalent, you just have to say atom hydrogen, write down the electron arrangement. Atom oxygen, write down the electron arrangement, susunan electron. Then you just say, untuk mencapai susunan duplet stabil, to achieve stable duplet arrangement, electron arrangement, or if it's oxygen, untuk mencapai susunan octet stabil. So if it is ionic bond, just now I said four sentences, right? Ionic compound is the same. The way you say is the same. Only this part is different. If it's covalent, uh, wait, uh, covalent, what's this? Okay, if it's covalent, okay, so you say electron arrangement, hydrogen is one, oxygen is two, six, okay? to achieve stable duplet electron arrangement, to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. So, these two sentences, selalunya digunakan, okay? Untuk mencapai susunan octet yang stabil. If it's ionic, you say, atom oxygen menerima dua electron. That if it's ionic. If it's covalent, you say, atom oxygen menyumbang dua electron. That's it. So, if it's ionic, you say, it releases for a metal or it receives for a non-metal. But if it's covalent, you say it contributes to electrons. That's the only difference. But this sentence is all the same. Susunan electron, okay? Uh, susunan electron, yelah this, susunan electron. So, untuk mencapai susunan electron duplet yang stabil. To achieve stable octet, to achieve stable duplet. That writing is the same. One mark, one mark, one mark like that. Okay? And then, if it is ionic, we say, we don't say contribute. If it's ionic, we say releases or receives. But if it's covalent, we say contributes. One electron. And then, for ionic, we say forms positive ion. For co covalent, we say berkongsi, share electrons. Okay, so it's not very, very difficult to write. Okay, it's not very, very difficult to write. That's it. Okay, so look at question. So that's, so that's A. Ya. Draw the electron arrangement of water molecule study kita sudah lukis and then uh, susunan electron. Okay, and explain its formation, six marks. Just like that only. You write the electron arrangement is like this, the electron arrangement is like this to achieve stable octet or stable duplet electron arrangement. Okay, water molecules from dative bond with hydrogen to form hydroxonium. Did we draw this just now? Yeah, we draw the hydroxonium. Remember the useless friend. Okay, you cannot write in your exam the useless friend. So what you say is, the only thing different in this is you say the in water molecule, okay, in the water molecule, everybody already has the full outer shell. Everybody already achieved octet electron arrangement. All you have to say is hydrogen ion has no electrons in its shell. The other electron dalam petala dan akan menggunakan kedua-dua electron yang bebas, the free electron from the oxygen atom. That's the only thing you have to add on. 
Okay? So, if you look at the answers here, okay, so this is for, this is for the five mark question about the dative bond, huh? okay? Oxygen already achieved, stable. Oxygen is already stable. In the water molecule, oxygen is stable. But hydrogen ion does not have any electrons. The other electron dalam petala, got no electrons. So, pasangan electron bebas. The lone pair of electrons in the oxygen atom is the one that bonds a covalent bond. The dative is covalent. But it's a covalent where only one person pay. The other person doesn't contribute. Only one person pays. Can you understand? Okay, so for essay, it's very, very easy to write. If come out a question about bonds, please write this essay. Okay, usually it will come out. Lah. All right, now let's do your favorite chapter. No, what's your favorite chapter? Redox, ah? really? Ah? Acid, base, and alkali. Yay. Yay. Okay. Cikgu tak, guna, tak suka guna perkataan hafal. Tapi, warna-warna garam, garam larut tak larut, mesti hafal. I cannot do anything. I wish I can give you notes and then you burn and then you make water and drink. Cannot. Okay? So, you have to memorize. What my students do is, I make them write on majung paper and stick on the wall. Some of them write on the mirror. Teacher, I'm already beautiful. I just look at the mirror and all the formulas. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Some of them stick on the mirror, brushing their teeth, look at it. Okay? So, you need to memorize. Garam larut, garam tak larut, all that you have to memorize. I cannot do anything. Okay? All right. Acid and reactive metal. Reactive metal means not silver, copper or gold. Okay, acid tak boleh uh, bertindak balas dengan ga, uh, logam um, orem, emas, copper, cuprum atau silver, argentum. Cannot. Okay, cannot react with this tree. It also cannot, you cannot put sodium, potassium. Why? After you die, how? Potassium, sodium is reactive, right? What will happen if you put in acid? Kaboom. Okay, big, big kaboom. Cannot. Cannot, cannot. All right? So, you have to use reactive metal means like zinc, magnesium, all that. So, you get garam, then hydrogen. Acid and carbonate, garam, carbon dioxide, and water. Acid and base, salt and water. Acid and alkali, also salt and water. Okay. Acid yang, uh, sorry, garam yang larut, garam yang tak larut, soluble and insoluble, sudah hafal? <sighs> tak hafal, also have to hafal, I cannot do anything. Lah. All potassium, all sodium, all ammonium salts hafal. Sorry, can see or not? Garam dan hydrogen, garam, carbon dioxide and air, garam dan air, water, sorry. Garam dan air, okay? All right. Let's do a baby question. A question to make you happy. Okay, let's do questions that make you happy. Why? Because can answer. Okay, let's do question 18. Read carefully, read carefully. We do the 30 second rule. In 30 seconds, you have to, you have to know the answer. And the answer is B, yes, okay? Weak alkali, alkali lemah, ammonia. Acid kuat, sulfuric, okay? Cikgu, kena hafal semua acid dalam dunia. No, no, no. If you can remember acid kuat, this three, I'm very proud of you already. Hydrochloric, sulfuric, nitric. Tiga sahaja. Acid lemah. Asid lemah hanya kena hafal satu. Ethanoic. Satu saja cukup. Okay. Lemah satu saja. Alkali kuat. Strong alkali. Sodium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide. Okay. You can memorize these two very good already. Weak. Only need one. Aqueous. Ammonia. That's it. They very rarely ask you more than this. 
strong, 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 weak. Strong, strong, weak. If you're very, very unlucky, calcium hydroxide. La. If you're very unlucky, but no, la, usually. If they ask you, so they ask you right equation only. Okay? Can? Okay? All right. Uh, those of you who are done, I know some of you are copying. Those of you who are done, look at question 19. Uh, this is a little bit of a trick question. A little bit of a trick question. Objective got a lot of trick questions. Huh? Okay? Here's a little bit of a trick question. Try and do question 19. Read carefully. Open eyes, big, big. Okay. If you didn't read carefully, your answer would be C. <laughs> if you didn't read carefully, your answer would be C. If you read carefully, your answer would be D. Ah, A, ha. Okay. Insoluble salt. Okay. So, untuk garam tak larut. Okay, garam yang dibuat mesti tak larut. All right. Tak boleh guna acid dan alkali. Cannot use acid and alkali. Cannot use metal. Cannot, cannot, cannot. Okay, these two got possibility. Teacher, my teacher teach me how to look like this. Lead, chloride. Ting, ting, ting. Got lead, got chloride. Can. This one got silver, got chloride. Trick question, got two answers. No. Why not? Why cannot choose C? Because lead to sulfate tak larut dalam air. Cannot. So the answer is D. Okay, kedua-dua garam yang kamu gunakan mesti larut dalam air. Okay, so this one sodium chloride boleh. Let to sulfate cannot. You must use let to nitrate. Okay, so C cannot. The answer is D. Get it? Yes, ah. Okay. Okay, this one we did ready, did ready, did ready. Okay. Now, I hope. Ah, okay, uh, there's a question online. Uh, semua garam, natrium, kalium dan ammonium larut dalam air. Okay? Kalium, potassium, sodium and ammonium. Alright. <gasps> so long question. Only one mark. Yes. But this is something that although this is an objective question, it always comes out in structure. Okay? Now, same thing. Focus. 30 seconds, okay, 30 seconds, read it and tell me your answer and tell me why. 30 seconds, come. What's your answer? Okay, if the question is about salt, garam, and it's black, okay, there is only one thing that is black, copper oxide, copper two oxide. The only thing that you learn that is black, only one. The other thing that you learn that is black is carbon. Carbon, okay? But then, dalam soalan garam, where are they going to ask you carbon? Right not? Okay. So, usually, usually anything that is black is carbon. Okay. So, salt, why? By heating it. The residue, what is left over is black. When hot and cold. Why they write here hot and cold? Because you have different things that are color that are hot and cold. There are only two things that are different color when hot and cold. Who are they? Lead oxide and zinc oxide. Do you remember? Uh, some of you are looking at me. Got such thing. Uh. <laughs> yes, got such thing. Zinc oxide and lead oxide are the only two things that have different color when they are hot and cold. Zinc oxide is white when it's cold. 
and yellow when it's hot. Lead oxide is yellow when it's cold and brown when it's hot. Correct? Hanya ada dua sahaja. Okay, hanya ada dua sahaja. Alright. Adakah zinc oxide is zinc oxide, lead oxide and copper oxide salt? Adakah ketiga-tiga ini garam? No. Tapi dia ialah produk daripada tindak balas garam. It is a product of a salt reaction. There are two reactions that they always ask you in this salt question. Okay. Which are, mm, okay, which are, you heat a nitrate and you heat a carbonate. There are only two questions they ask you when they have heat. When you heat a nitrate, for example, you heat lead nitrate, you get lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen. Okay? So, in that case, if you heat zinc nitrate, what do you get? Zinc oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen. Okay? This that is made, ada warna berbeza semasa dibuat, kemudian disejukkan. Okay? Gas yang dibebaskan ada warna. Siapa yang ada warna? Nitrogen dioxide. It's a brown gas. Gas warna perang. Hanya ada dua gas warna perang. One is nitrogen dioxide. The other one is? In your entire form 4, form 5, hanya ada dua warna perang. Bromine. Very good. Only two things that warna perang. Bromine and nitrogen dioxide. Tapi bromine tak akan guna dalam garam. Bromine won't be used in salt. Bromine is only going to use in hydrocarbon. Correct or not? Only hydrocarbon and redox got bromine. This one won't have bromine. So if they random, saya panaskan garam, tiba-tiba gas warna perang. Okay, I heat up the salt, suddenly got brown gas. Definitely is nitrogen dioxide, definitely is nitrate. Okay? Now, the other one is carbonate. But this one not so often. Ah. Sometimes only. Why? Because it's not easy. <laughs> so carbon dioxide cannot see anything. No point. Oxygen also cannot see what? But oxygen, they will tell you, gas that relights a uh, lit spin. Okay? A glowing spin. All right. So back to this question. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, the question, Shamila, is kalium, natrium, dan ammonium. Kalium, natrium, dan ammonium. Garam yang larut dalam air. Yang selalu larut. Okay? Alright, there were two gases released. Gas K, which is igniting a glowing wooden slick, and gas L, which is brown. Okay, so that means it released nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. And if this is black, copper oxide, that means original, what is the salt Y? Copper nitrate. Do you get it? Okay, so therefore the answer is D. Okay, it's not copper sulfate, it's not copper, and it's not hydrogen. So it's nitrogen dioxide. Okay? Soalan-soalan tentang garam memang kena hafal. Memang kena hafal. It's a lot of information. You have to hafal. Tetapi biasanya bukan semua ditanya. Selalunya yang ditanya ialah yang berwarna, got color. Copper, Copper sulfate, copper sulfate sure come out one time one because copper sulfate is blue, very colorful. So copper sulfate, uh, copper nitrate, <coughs> zinc oxide, lead oxide, all these things that have color. Okay, usually the questions are about those that color. Two more that have color, iron two, iron three. Iron two is always green, iron three is always brown. They only ask the, usually, usually ask the colored ones. Uh, okay. <coughs> all right, now. Let's do something. Um, we're going to talk about a 11 mark essay. 
Okay? We're going to talk about 11 mark essay. But we are not going to write the 11 mark essay because after hand pain. <coughs> okay, you need to do the question uh, B1 first before you can do B2. Okay? You must do B1. B1 is only two marks before you can do B2. Okay, now let's do B1 first on page 16. Let's do B1 first. Kilang X menghasilkan baja ammonium sulfate melalui proses penutralan. Nyatakan bahan-bahan yang digunakan untuk menghasilkan garam ammonium sulfate. Okay, how do you make ammonium sulfate? Ammonia, larutan ammonia. You cannot just use ammonia, guess no. It's larutan ammonia and sulfuric acid. Okay. Ammonia, not ammonium. Ammonia solution or aqueous ammonia and sulfuric acid. Okay. If I say ammonium solution, is it spelling mistake? No, it's totally different chemical. Cannot, cannot, cannot. Okay, it's different. Okay, so that is question B. So, dengan menggunakan bahan di 3 B, di situ, huraikan bagaimana anda menyediakan baja ammonium sulfate dalam makmal. Sertakan persamaan kimia dalam jawapan anda. 11 marks. Okay. We're going to do something fun. We are not going to write. You can write at home. I want you to take an empty page in your notes or even below here if you have small handwriting and I want you to draw. What are the steps to make the salt? Apakah langkah-langkah? Draw. Draw it out. Draw a mind map. What do you do? What do you do? Do you do? What do you do? Think. Okay, think, think, think. 11 marks minus 2 marks. 2 marks is the equation. 2 marks is the equation. The other 9 marks is how you make the salt. Okay, think. Think, think. If you can draw, you can write. Okay, if you can draw, you can write. You must know how it looks like first. Okay, tak payah lukis cantik-cantik lah. Just do a sketch, a simple sketch of this. How will it look like? Okay, I give you two minutes. Draw. Quick, 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 quick. I want to do organic chemistry and uh, I want to do redox and organic chemistry after this. Just draw a simple sketch. You cannot use ammonium nitrate. Shamila, you cannot use ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate is a... Uh, cannot. This one is acid and alkali. Cannot. Okay, I write equation for you. I write equation for you. Okay. Uh, sul eh? Sulfuric acid. Aqueous ammonia. Okay, remember this one is aqueous, aqueous. Okay. Eh, no, sorry. So no water. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I write equation for you already. You just need to draw how to make. If I say, if I say elephant, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? The word elephant or a picture of an elephant? Or a, ele uh, not a picture, of, uh, a foot, uh, elephant, uh, a picture of an elephant in your brain, right or not? Okay? If I say the word elephant and the first thing that comes to your mind is elephant in your mind, E-L-E-P-H, then you must get yourself tested. Okay, maybe you're a genius. So normal people will see a picture of an elephant. So... If you want to do this, you must know how it looks like. If you know how it looks like, you can write your essay. If you don't know how it looks like, you cannot write. Okay? You know how it looks like. Do you need to draw in exam? No, no need, no need, no need. It's just to help you remember. Okay?
Okay. Finish showing? Draw a picture of your house. <laughs> draw a picture of your house, mountains, draw Langkawi. After exam, I want to go Langkawi. Okay, draw Langkawi. You have to do something. If in exam, let's say your exam, ah, peperiksaan anda mula sekarang. And everybody is writing. And you look around, you don't know what to write. You also pretend to write. No, you're very stressed, okay? <laughs> write, write. Don't know how to write, also pretend to write. You go home, you don't want to study, so you pretend to study. Must. You pretend until you can do it. Okay? All right. <laughs> what have you drawn? Nanti kamu balik rumah kan? Ibu bapa nak tengok nota. Kenapa banyaknya gambar rumah? <laughs> Teacher asked me to draw a house. I sit down there, I don't know what to do. I draw a house lah. I'm very scared. I draw a house. Ha. Okay. Okay, I got a very... Okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh. Okay, I don't know whether you know or you don't know this. So, I will teach. I will pretend you don't know. Okay? I will pretend you don't know. Okay, this is a question online. How do you know when to use what? Huh. Okay, if it's garam, kalium, sodium, ammonium, musty guna, acid, non alkali, titration method. Okay, garam, kalium, natrium, ammonium. Okay, uh, Shamila, this is your answer, okay? If it's potassium, sodium, ammonium, you have, have, have to use acid and alkali. Correct or not? So, example, potassium chloride, potassium nitrate, potassium sulfate, uh, ammonium sulfate, ammonium chloride, anything that has potassium, sodium, ammonium, you have to use titration. Penitratan. Have to, have to. Mesti, mesti guna ini acid and alkali. Okay, if it's garam larut dalam air, Garam larut, soluble salt. If it's a soluble salt, but it cannot be potassium, it cannot be sodium, and it cannot be ammonium. Cannot, cannot, no, no, no. If it's not potassium, not sodium, ammonium, tapi garam yang larut, other soluble salts, you use acid and metal can. Acid and carbonate can. Acid and metal oxide can. Okay, all right. Tetapi, let's say, ini cara pertama, ini cara kedua. Okay, cara ketiga ialah garam tak larut. Insoluble salt. Precipitation. You must use precipitation. Garam yang larut, campur garam yang larut. Okay, this one tak ada guna asid. Garam tak larut tak boleh guna asid. Okay, now, let's say it's copper sulfate. Use method one or method two? One or two? Two. You have to use method two. So I want to make copper sulfate. I use sulfuric acid and copper cannot. I just told you cannot. Because copper is non-reactive. You need to use copper oxide or copper carbonate. Then only you get copper sulfate. Right? Okay? So like that, teacher, you lie, you bluff one, you say metal can. You can use zinc, you can use magnesium. So, to make sure tak salah, always use acid and carbonate. Sure boleh punya. Acid and carbonate. To make your life easier, always use acid and carbonate. Okay? If, okay, it's not that hard, all right? If you want to make, if you want to make chicken, steamed chicken, then you must use chicken lah. So if you're using copper sulfate, you must use sulfuric acid lah. If you're making copper nitrate, you're making steam fish. Fish, then nitric acid lah. Okay? Can? Can ah? Alright. 
Okay. We already know mesti ada aqueous ammonia, mesti ada acid sulfuric. Okay. And we already know penitratan, titration. Okay. All right. Penitratan mesti guna apa? Apa dan apa? Buret dan pipet. Okay. Ini buret. Ini bukan pipet. Ini kelalangkun. <laughs> Conical flask. Okay. Where do you put acid? Where do you put alkali? Acid in the buret. Very good. Alkali in the kelalangkun. Conical flask. Okay. What's the color of acid? Colorless. What's the color of alkali? Colorless, not pink. Colorless. So colorless and colorless, how to see? You must add phenolphthalein. Why must you add phenolphthalein? Because phenolphthalein is pink. Liquid, huh? It's pink. Yeah, I got no pink. Wait, I add pink first. Uh, okay, pink. Okay. So, oh, Jeku like that, 11 marks. Ah. No lah. Then you expand from that. Okay. Apabila, apabila kamu tambahkan acid. Acid sudah ditambahkan kepada buret. Is a buret accurate? Yes. Buret is accurate. Nobody in the world is so stupid. Go and take pipette. Take pipette. Go and take 25 centimeter cube and then go to my buret and 25 centimeter cube. Nobody is that stupid. If you have done, ever done it before, shh, don't tell people. Okay? No need. Buret is accurate. So whatever you put inside your buret, you just put inside only. Okay? Then, you use pipette for this one. Okay? You measure the pipette first. You use the pipette. You measure. Okay, pipette. Okay, pipette. Okay, pipette looks prettier than this. Okay, you pretend, pretend this is a pipette. Huh? Pipette is exactly, pipette is accurate. So, you use pipette to fill in 25.0 centimeter cube of larutan ammonia. Kenapa nak tulis 25.0? To show you are smart. <laughs> because pipette is accurate. Show lah, you got brains a bit. Show off you are smart. 25.0 centimeter cube. 0, 0.0 because pipette is accurate. Buret also the reading is 0, 0.0. What? It's accurate. Okay. So I need to measure with pipette and then pour inside. So my alkali here is ammonia. Aqueous ammonia. I use pipette and I mix it in. Okay. All right. Then I add a few drops of phenolphthalein. It becomes pink. And then my acid, I just add it. My sulfuric acid, I just add it to the burette. Okay. Then I titrate and then I swirl. And then I stop when it becomes colorless. colorless. The whole thing hilang, yeah. Colorless. Okay. Then... Then I just repeat, no, you must know how much acid you use. So again, look intelligent. Tuliskan, rekodkan. Okay, final titration, V centimeter cube. Look smart, pretend to be smart, right. V centimeter cube of acid. Now, you repeat. Kenapa repeat? Because this one is not pure. It's ammonium sulfate with water with phenolphthalein. Cannot. So you must repeat. Repeat the experiment without phenolphthalein. Tetapi tak ada warna, tak ada warna. It's okay. Sekarang kamu tambahkan V centimeter cube. Ah, pandai. You know, you must use V centimeter cube. Okay, selepas ini, sekarang, after you have made your final titration without phenolphthalein, is it pure now? Yes. Sekarang kamu ada larutan garam. You have salt solution. How to change salt solution into salt? Not boil, heat. 
Heat in a evaporating dish. Heat. Heat until when? Saturated. Heat until saturated. Okay? Sehingga tepu. Heat until saturated. And then, you cool filter. Then here is your salt. And then you dry between filter paper. If you write all of this, including your equation, you get 11 marks. Okay? Do you understand? Okay, I'm going to show you example. Don't need to copy. It will be given to you online later on. Okay? I'm going to show you uh, wait, uh, how they do it. Okay, not here. This is 20. Okay, here. So, you must write full sentences, but again, nobody wants to read your long story. Pipette ammonia. Okay, ammonia, you pipette. Then you add phenolphthalein. Okay, then you fill the burette with sulfuric acid. And then you add the acid slowly until it becomes colorless. And then you record the V centimeter cube. All right. And then you repeat the experiment with 25 centimeter cube of ammonia, but without the phenolphthalein. You must say, I'm smart. I don't use phenolphthalein now. And then you add the V centimeter cube. Okay. The one that you did just now. And then you pour it into a evaporating dish. Heat, cool, filter. Okay. Heat, cool, filter. Dry between filter paper. 11 marks. Do you understand how to write? Can? Okay. If this question, if this question is not ammonium sulfate, if this question is making copper sulfate, what do I do different? What is my, what is my chemical? Copper, uh, sulfuric acid and? Copper. Ah, no. Ui. Copper, ah, no. I just told you just now. Copper? Carbonate. Okay. If this one come out very happy, no need to talk so much. Pour sulfuric acid, add copper carbonate, add, add, add until tak boleh larut, filter. Then you have your copper sulfate. And then you can do this. Same. Sebelas maka also. Can you understand? Yes? Okay. Now we come nearing the end. We only have half an hour more. Okay. Let's do questions that use our brains more. Okay. Everybody look at page 17. Okay. I will try and do one question from each of the last chapters. Okay. Look at Look at this one, this question. Okay. Do you know what is the biggest problem? Biggest problem in all students? Okay, I've been teaching for 20 over years. I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I've been teaching for 20 over years. So my students from 20 years ago and my students now, do you know what's the biggest difference? Do you know the dog from up? The dog from up? Hi, my name is Doug. I'm your dog, Squirrel. Do you remember the dog? Yes. Okay, it will talk for you. Hi, I'm your dog. I am, I am Doug. I will want to help you, Squirrel. Okay, that's the biggest problem I have with my students nowadays. Okay, you cannot focus. You cannot focus. You cannot, like you're reading the question. You can't even finish the question and you're thinking of something else already. You're reading, the que but the questions are very long. I'm sorry, the questions are very long. Okay? So I know you cannot focus. I know. Okay, it's, it's a problem nowadays. Okay. Because last time, 20 years ago, my students can focus for four hours of tuition. Can you imagine? They go from school, four hours of tuition, and they can still focus. Go back eight o'clock, can still focus. They're looking at me, I'm so scared. They're looking at me without, without blinking, I also got a bit scared. But now I write the question. I haven't even finished writing. They all are somewhere else ready. Did you see that? Got squirrel. 
Okay, so the questions are very long. You have to focus from the start to the end of the question. Can you imagine sekiranya kamu punya kertas objektif, kertas satu, ada empat puluh soalan macam ni yang panjang. <sighs> Learn how to focus. Okay, cepat. It's a very long question. But you have to focus. Okay, apakah yang berbeza daripada eksperimen satu dan eksperimen dua? Only temperature, suhu sahaja. Suhu yang lebih tinggi. Apabila menggunakan suhu lebih tinggi, produk lebih ke sama? Sama, okay? So the only possible answer is Y and Z. That's all. This one... This one is product lebih. You can only get more product when you change kepekatan asid. You can only get more product when you change concentration. Only if you change concentration, you can get this kind of graph, more product. But if you guna suhu tinggi, catalyst, uh, zara lebih kecil, Okay, larger surface area, you use powder or you use higher temperature or use catalyst, you can only get this kind of Y and Z. You can only this, get this kind of graph. Z being the original, Y being the high temperature. You can only get this type with more product. More product, okay, is only if you use kepekatan acid yang lebih. All right? Only when you use acid or not only acid lah hydrogen peroxide also kepekatan lebih okay can so the answer is uh, D alright redox redox yeah. I try my best okay kos kos sabo organic chemistry haven't done okay let me give you a hint okay Organic chemistry, if they ask, they, they add bromine water, you just write brown to colorless. You don't know, so you just write brown to colorless, okay? <laughs> okay, we'll do that later. All right. Uh, displacement of halogen, electrolysis, pengaratan, displacement of metal, reactivity of metal. Okay. Uh, this one kena hafal tak? Yes, I'm sorry. This one you have to memorize. You don't memorize this, you cannot answer questions. Kereaktifan logam. Okay. Untuk kata satu kena hafal lah. Kata satu you have to hafal lah. Alright. Now let's look at this. <gasps> Teacher, why all the question long one? Yeah, sorry. That's life. Okay. Hayo, I haven't finished reading already. I'm tired. Uh, I'm so tired. Okay. Look at question 28. It goes on and on and on. Okay, read. Faster, faster. Focus. What is the question trying to ask you? Quick, quick. Yes, what happened? Yes, good. Tell me what happens. Okay, okay untuk jawab soalan itu, mesti hafal siri, uh, your electrochem... Uh, uh, kereaktifan, siri kereaktifan. Okay? Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc. Then, iron, tin, lead, hydrogen only lah, copper, silver. Okay? Siapa lebih reaktif? Going up. Lebih reaktif. Lebih reaktif means lebih reaktif kepada oksigen. Lebih reaktif menjadi ion positif. Lebih reaktif kepada semua, semua, everything in the world. Okay? Tetapi dia sudah selalu bandingkan dengan logam ferrum. Always compared to iron. Okay? So, iron is U. Iron is U. Ah. You are iron. Okay, magnesium is your mum. Hmm. Magnesium is your mum, and silver is your girlfriend. 
Okay, now you go to eat. Okay, I don't know what where you all go eat nowadays. You all go McDonald's, you all go Mama. Maybe you all high end. You go only sushi. I don't know. Okay, so whatever high end place restaurant you want to put. Okay, you go to B A C Cafe and eat. Okay, let's say ah, uh, it's the hottest place in the world. Two Michelin star. Okay, now you go with your mum. You go with your mum. Who is going to pay? Mum. <laughs> Everybody say mum. Okay. Have you ever gone somewhere with your mum? Mum wants to pay and you say, no, mum, let me pay. No, right? You tell mum, can I order some more? <laughs> okay, mum says, okay, I'm going to pay. You just shut up. Okay, can, can, can. can I order some more? Okay, so you go with mum, mum pay. Mum pay with money, but magnesium pay with electron. Okay? The more reactive you are, the more willing are you to pay electrons. Alright? So, when mom go to BAC, cafe, mom will pay. You no need to pay. So, when iron is with magnesium, who is going to rust? Who is going to release magnesium? Magnesium say, I pay, I pay, I pay. Don't worry. Iron say, okay. So, iron is safe. Okay? If you go by yourself, who pay? Yourself lah. Takkan you go to restaurant, you order already, uncle, uncle pay for me. <laughs> no, right? So if iron is alone with water and oxygen lah, iron will still rust. Of course, iron will rust. Okay, iron will still rust. It has to rust. Somebody has to pay. But if you go with your girlfriend, who pay? That's why you got no girlfriend. Okay. So if girlfriend pay, then oh, mystery solved. Okay. So if you go eat with your girlfriend, not only you have to pay, you have to pay for your girlfriend la. So you have to, oh, heart pain. Yeah, I know. So don't have girlfriend. Do SPM first. Okay. So if you go with your girlfriend, which is silver, silver very expensive ma. Okay. Not only iron has to pay, iron has to pay more. So it rusts faster. Get it? Okay. Now answer this question. If iron rusts, sekiranya, sekiranya, logam ferrum mula dioksidakan. You will produce Fe2+. Fe2+, dikesan oleh siapa? Kalium hexacyanoferrat 3. Okay? Potassium hexacyanoferrat. When it touches iron 2, it turns blue. That means, if it is blue, iron rusts, corrodes. If no blue, iron no rusts. Get it? So, which one will make it turn blue? You look and see who is girlfriend material. Magnesium is mother material. Zinc is your father. So, tin and copper are girlfriend material. <laughs> so, tin and copper, one and four. The answer is B. Get it? Soalan ini selalu ditanya dalam soalan essay. Kenapa tabung uji P ada warna biru? Kenapa tabung uji Q tak ada warna biru tapi ada warna merah jambu? This one got no got no blue. But this one will turn pink. Phenophthalene. Phenophthalene, there is hydroxide ion. Okay? There is hydroxide ion, that's why it turns pink. Got it? Can? Okay. Pen any questions before I continue? No, can I continue? Okay, okay, finishing already. Finishing. I promise, I promise. I won't hold you before, be, beyond 4.30. I also want to go home. Okay, this kind of question. This kind of question is also new. Last time also don't have. How come my year got so many things? Because you're special. <laughs> How come now got so many of these things? Because you're special, people love you more. Okay? So you're special. Alright? Okay, question 29, come. 
Last time, they only asked who released electron. Now they ask you to count. It's actually not that hard. Read the question, this one, read the question. Okay. Remember just now, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc. Okay, the one that is above will always release electron. Yang atas selalu mengalami pengoksidaan. Mel releasing electron. This is pengoksidaan. Okay? The higher you are, the higher you are, the more you want to release. Throw, throw. Those are on top, very rich one, like to throw the money, like to throw electron. So, when you compare iron with copper, who is richer? Who is higher up? Iron. So, iron say, I give electron. Copper say, okay, give lah. So, the one that release electron, yang bebas electron is pengoksidaan, oxidation. Oxidation always, always, always happens at the anode. Always. Okay? You need to know which one is anode, which one is cathode. If not, you cannot count. Okay? So, oxidation always, 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 always happens at the anode. And then, reduction is terima electron. Receive electron is always, always the cathode. I give you a trick. Oxidation is O. Oxidation O is with A, anode. Reduction is R. R is with C. R, C, O, A. Okay? Oxidation, anode, reduction, cathode. So, hitungkan nilai EO cell. How do you count? Yes, you always take, you want to count EO. If you don't know this formula, please write down. It's always EO cathode minus anode. It's always cathode minus anode. C minus A is always like that. C cathode is copper. This one, this one is C, this one is A. 3.0.34 minus, okay, wait, let me write in black, cannot see. 0.34 minus, okay, guys, open your eyes big, big, ah. You know, this is a really silly mistake to make. It's negative, right? Negative, negative, positive, lah. So minus the negative 0 0.44. So your value is. 0.78. Okay? Remember, minus, minus. Alright? This formula very important. Always cathode minus anode. Alright? You need to know who is oxidation. Yang bebas electron. Oxidation is always anode. Okay. I got about 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, I only want you to do one thing. Can you see page 21? Can you see page 21? Okay, I, we're not going to do everything. Uh, just look at question E. E. Question, page 21, question E. Okay. A student found that his iron key has rusted. Oh, so sad. Okay. Uh, nyatakan satu keadaan untuk mengatasi masalah ini. How do you solve the problem of electroplating? Okay, draw. Draw, draw, draw. Three marks. I want you to draw. There's a re reason why I want you to draw. Because a lot of people draw wrong. Okay. E Electroplating. Uh, this one cannot draw your house. This one actually need to draw. Can you please draw electroplating? I want to show you how your diagram can be wrong. So they want to use iron key. Iron key, they want to... Uh, penyadoran dengan... Okay, electroplating is penyadoran. Penyadoran logam. Penyadoran logam. They want to plate the iron key with copper. With copper ah, dengan cuprum. Okay, draw, draw, draw. Electrolysis. Electrolysis menggunakan penyadoran. Don't know how to draw, so pretend to draw. Everyone is drawing. It's three mark. I want to show you the mistake. Okay? Ramai pelajar buat masalah ini.
I know now can Google. Exam hall cannot Google, okay? <laughs> All right. Now, a lot of you will draw like this. A lot of you will draw like this, okay? All right, this one. Iron key, okay. Okay, now, what's wrong with this? Hey, sorry, not this. Uh, a lot of you draw like this. Okay. All right. Kenapa salah? Then only half of the key disadokan. So sad. Okay. It's like you, you wear lipstick, you only wear halfway. <laughs> Cannot. Okay, this is wrong. Okay. Perniadoran. Always remember this part. Positive. Positive is always... Positive is always your electrode, silver, or copper. Negative is the one, the kunci. Kunci tak cantik pun tak apa. But the kunci must be lower, lower, lower. Okay. Sekiranya kamu lukis salah. Kamu lukis garpu. <laughs> Never mind. You just label key a fork shaped key you draw spoon never mind spoon shaped key it's okay just label key because the question say key now your solution solution must be cover you must cover the key so silver nitrate solution okay now this is a three mark diagram they can ask you to write equation they can ask you to explain the experiment, but if you do not know how it looks like, how to write, cannot. So if let's say you know how to draw and they ask for essay, eight marks, oh, you, I don't know how the equation, never mind, equation only two marks. Persamaan kimia hanya dua maka. Eight marks. Isikan bika dengan larutan silver nitrate. Uh, sorry, uh, argentum nitrate. Okay? And then, Connect the silver electrode or the silver plate to the positive terminal. Connect the iron key to the negative terminal. Okay, immerse in the solution on the switch. You want to feel a bit smarter, you take the key and you sandpaper first, then only put in. That's it. You know how to draw, you know how to answer. All right? Can? Okay. Okay, lastly, if there's no questions, I want to continue the last chapter. Can I do that? Can I? Okay, the last 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, look at page 22, the next page. Ooh, your favorite. Yay. Organic chemistry. Organic chemistry. Cikgu. Cikgu boleh spot organic chemistry tak keluar dalam exam tak? How? I cannot. I guarantee you one question. <laughs> Definitely, they will have one question. I have never seen an SPM paper where there's no organic chemistry, there's no redox, there's no, uh, there's no salt, there's no acid. There is one question. Okay? You have to have one question. Okay. Alkene, alkanes, alcohols, carboxylic acid, ester. Okay. Alkene, CNH2N. Alkene, CNH2N plus 2. Alkene to alkene, penghydrogenan. Alkanes to, uh, this one wrong, arrow wrong, uh, sorry. Is alkenes to alcohols, not this one. Okay, penghidratan, hydration. CNH2N plus 1, OH. Alcohols to carboxylic acid, oxidation. CNH2N plus 1, COOH. Finally, alcohol, finally, alcohols and carboxylic acid together make ester, pengesteran, esterification. Okay, all right. This one is something new. Last time also don't have. <laughs> what is this? You have to draw it out. 
you have to actually draw it out. Then only some people can see, some people very smart can see, some people cannot see. So you have to draw it out. CH3 means CH3. CH2 means CH2. C double bond means there. CH double bond CH2. Like that. So, build one in. Always come from the smallest number. One, two, three, four. Double bond on the first carbon. Build one in. Get it? Okay, so they will always give you something like this and then you, you draw it out, draw it out. Then only you know what's going on. You don't draw it out, don't, don't do that. Okay, sekiranya, tadi soalan pengiraan, right? All the mole questions. Let's say you're not good at the pengiraan. Don't do the calculation. Do all the theory first and then do calculation end. What's the point of spending 10 minutes on one question? Do all the questions on theory and then come back and do calculation. Okay? All right. This one, how to see. How to see. Uh, this is Esther. How you know it's an Esther? Esther is COO. COO is Esther. Okay. Here is how you do it. Uh. This part with the double bond, this side is from the acid. This side is from the acid. This part, without the double bond, is from the alcohol. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, butanoic acid. One, two, ethanol. Can you see? Sometimes the whole molecule is tebali. They can draw the other direction also. So you always look for this one. You always look for this one. The C double bond. Okay, you always look for this one first. C double bond. Alright? Okay. Uh, done? Okay. Look at question 35. It's on the next page. Question 35 is a tricky question. Question 35, this one, this one, this one. Question 35, you cannot just do like that. Mesti lukis. Mesti lukiskan. Um, you have to draw out the structure. Okay? Mole the structural formula. Formula structure, you draw it out first. Lukiskan, then only you can answer the question. If not, you don't know what you're doing. Then. Open the eyes big, big. Ah. Baca bye bye. Ah. Build two in. Ah. Build two in. Digoncangkan dengan air bromine. Okay? Draw it out. Draw it out. Sebab semua jawapan macam sama saja. Okay. Yes. Got it. Tau lukis tak? Tau. Okay. So, build two in. Build two in. You draw build two in first. Okay. So, Build to in means it's here. Okay? Build to in means it's here. Apabila saya tambahkan bromine, hanya boleh ditambahkan di tempat ada ikatan dubel. You can only add it to the double bond. So if you put one, two, it's wrong. Molecule apa boleh bentukkan ini? If you want one, two, it must be built one in. Build satu in, then you get one, two. Build two in, tak boleh. So, you see, 
the double bond will open up. Okay, just now got double bond. The double bond will open up. The bromine will be here and here. Can you see? So it is, and then it's no longer butene, it's butane. So it's 2, 3 dibromobutane. If you look at all of this, macam sama saja, 1, 2 dibromobutane, 1, 2 bromobutane, one, two. it looks, looks the same, but it's not the same. Okay, it's not the same. All right. Okay, I try and squeeze this in. Okay, one more question on calculation, all right? Okay. <laughs> Ini juga soalan biasa. Masalahnya ialah kamu mesti tuliskan persamaan kimia sekiranya persamaan kimia kamu salah, soalan pun salah. Okay? Oh, uh, yeah, what to do? Because it's chemistry, must write chemical equation. All right, 36. You must write a balanced chemical equation. If not, your answer is wrong. Okay, try, try, try. If you don't know, if you really cannot, you use your common sense. It is C3. Use your common sense. Huh? It is C3H8. Burn with oxygen. Every time, pembakaran hanya boleh membentuk carbon dioxida dan air. You only get this. I show you a trick. Tak ada masa untuk tulis persamaan kimia. C3, if it's C3, then carbon mesti tiga lah. That is the first thing. That is the first thing. Okay? Okay. Did you get a balanced equation? How many oxygen? Five. Very good. Okay, so this one four, this one five. All right. Look carefully. Uh, you have to get this correct because... Sekiranya sini kamu tak dapat tiga, nispa kamu salah. Your ratio is wrong. So it's one to three. Okay, so this one, 0 0.5 mole. So here is times three. 1.5. Then you take, untuk dapatkan isi padu, you take 1.5 darab 24. You get 36. Okay, can? Okay, I saved the best for last. Yay. The most challenging calculation question. Oh, okay. You're not ready. Okay, I cannot help you. <laughs> I cannot stop time to you. Like, what's the, what's the name of the superhero that stops time? I still don't know. The Flash. Uh, the Flash can go back in time. <laughs> Doctor Strange can go back in time. I still don't know. But I know that's not coming out for SPM, okay? All right, yeah, too bad. They should come out right. One subject, superhero. Literature or superhero. Okay. Kita buat soalan yang paling, paling, paling challenging. Two of the last questions that are challenging. We try and squeeze in both, okay? If not, we just do one first. 39, 39. Okay. First of all, okay, okay, shh, shh, shh. This question is... Harbour pembakaran, heat of combustion. You must know how it looks like. You don't know how it looks like, you don't know what you're counting. Okay? So, how does it look like? Question 39. Think first, think first, think first. How does it look like? I promise you we finish this and we can go home. I'm not going to hold you hostage, okay? Okay, how does it look like? Come on. Okay. This is... Okay, can I use a blank paper? You all have your question, right? Okay, because I have no place to write. Okay. I'm not going to place to write. Okay, this question, uh, this question you read carefully. Heat of combustion for ethanol. 
300 centimeter cube is the water. You heat up, you heat up with three grams of ethanol. They don't even give you ethanol. If you cannot write down ethanol as C2H5OH, you cannot do anything. So you have to know ethanol is C2H5OH. And then they tell you the heat of combustion. Heat of combustion means one mole of ethanol gives me 1371 kilojoules. That's what heat of combustion means. Okay, so they say three grams of ethanol heats up 300 centimeter of water, calculate the increase of temperature. What is the formula? Which formula are the, got temperature change? MC theta. Okay. M C theta. So you have to find theta. Okay. What is M? Mass of what? Uh, you put mass of ethanol gone lah. Finish. Water. The M is the mass of water. You don't use this. You only use this for amount of moles. You need to count the amount of moles of ethanol. Why? To make your life difficult. <laughs> you must count the amount of moles ethanol. MC theta, how to count? You got no theta. But MC theta is the harbour de bebaskan, heat release. So let's go back to this. You need to count the amount of moles. Ethanol, carbon is 12, 12 times 2 plus 5 plus 1 plus 16, you get 60, uh, sorry, 46. So, mass over molar mass, you get 0 0.065 mole. So what? <laughs> uh, so what? So, so how now? Okay. One mole is 1371 kilojoule. 0 0.065 mole is how many kilojoule? You have to do cross multiplication. Okay, so you take 1371, multiply 0 0.065. Okay, that gives you joule or kilojoule. Kilojoule, you have to times 1,000 to get it into joule, okay? One mole, 1371. 0 0.065 mole, just times 0 0.065. Why do you change it to joule? Because your MC theta is in joule, is in the value of joule. Remember, you are looking for theta. You are looking for theta, okay? So, you will get 89413 joule. Okay, so let's look at this formula. MC theta is heat. So this is what you just counted. Substitute it in. M is mass of water. 300. That's why you have it it is not the same, okay? 300 C is given in the question, 4.2. Theta is what you're looking for. Heat is what you calculated just now. 89413, giving you a theta of 71. If you cannot count this, if you don't know this, you cannot do. So you must use this. Okay, no, one mole delta H, delta H means one mole is 1371. It's the same thing. That's what the heat of combustion means. Heat of combustion means the heat of one mole. But now I don't have one mole. I only have 0 0.065 mole. Okay, uh, Shamela, understand? All right, okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah? For what? Did you all get 71? 8, 9, 4, 1, 3. 1, 1, 5. Oh, okay. Is the answer still the same? Wait, uh, let me count. Uh. 1, 3, 7, 1 times point zero. Oh, same answer. Okay, I think I wrote wrong. 
Oh, yes, yes, I wrote wrong. Same answer. 8, 9. Uh, that's why I press calculator, cannot press wrong. <laughs> Divide. So, uh, GG here. The answer still the same? Same, ah? Uh? Okay. Divide 300. Divide 4.2. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, thank you. All right, that's all, kids. I hope you do well, okay? Go through all the questions, yeah?